Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Applied Forensic Resource Sciences. Myself Ayush Sherekar, volunteer of Applied Forensic Resource Sciences. In this presentation, we will study about the injury and its types. So this is a part one of this topic. The content that we are going to see is Introduction, Mechanism of Injury, Types of an Injury, Forensic Examination of Injury and Forensic Applications. Introduction Injury is defined as any harm or damage to human or animal body. The legal definition of an injury is An injury is a harm suffered by a person due to some act or omission done by another person and can generally give rise to a civil tort claim or a criminal prosecution. And the wound is a type of an injury which happens relatively quickly in which skin is torn, cut, etc. Now let's see what is the mechanism of an injury. On daily basis, we do the exercise, running, walking, etc. So, these are the various movements that our body possesses, and it is because of the flexibility and elasticity of body. Hence, as if the limit of elasticity or flexibility due to force is crossed, then wound or injury is caused. Then, we'll see about types of injury. The types of injury are mechanical injury, thermal injury, electrical injury, corrosive injury and the radiation injury. In this part 1, we will learn about the mechanical and the thermal injury. What is mechanical injury? These are the injury which is caused by physical violence which tends to loss of natural continuity of any tissue of living body. Now the types of mechanical injuries are abrasion, bruise, laceration, fracture, dislocation, incised wound, stab wound, puncture wound, penetrating wound and the firearm injury. Now let us see one by one. What is abrasion? Simply an abrasion can be defined as a scratch mark on a body and it happens when the skin is rubbed against a rough surface so it forms a scratches or scrap like structure and it's a common type of an injury. Bruise if any body part mostly head, hand or leg, when any external force is applied or occurred, then the skin surface internally occurs as a black or blue mark. It is due to blood or bleeding under the skin because of such force or trauma of an any kind. Laceration The laceration is a type of cut wound which is typically caused by a sharp object like a corner of a glass or it can be caused by any blunt trauma. In this, the tearing of soft body tissues takes place. Fracture. The fracture is mainly refers to the wound of a bone. A complete or partial break in a bone is also known to be a fracture. The fractures commonly happen because of a car accidents, falls or a sport injuries. Dislocation. Dislocation which is called as a joint dislocation. It is an injury where a joint is forced out from a normal position. As like in a car accidents or sports etc, the dislocation is most commonly occurred and basically the dislocation is most common in shoulder joints, fingers, knee etc. And the incised wound. Incised wound is a cut mark which is caused by a sharp edge as like a knife. When such cut is occurs then it mostly affects the internal layers and ligaments of a skin to bleed heavily and may lead to significant blood loss. Stab wound. A stab wound is a specific form of penetrating trauma to the skin that results from a knife or a similar pointed objects. While stab wounds are typically known to be caused by knives, they can also occur from a variety of implements including broken glass bottles or an ice picks etc. The puncture wound can occur due to a bite or stepping on a rusty piece of metal such as nail. Such type of wound can cause external and internal bleeding. It is very painful and may lead to additional symptoms like swelling, drainage of pus, warmth and redness in the skin. What is penetrating wound? The penetrating wound or trauma is an injury caused by a foreign object or outer object which tends to pierce the skin which can damage the underlying tissues and results in an open wound. It is very painful and can cause a heavy bleeding. The firearm wound is caused when a bullet or other projectile is shot into or through the body. The firearm wound can cause serious injuries including severe bleeding, damage to the tissue and organs and also break the bones. Now let us see the next type of injury that is a thermal injury. As its name suggests that the injury which is caused by an application of a heat to the external or internal body surfaces is known as a thermal injury. The types of thermal injuries are bomb blast wound, burn injury and the scald. 
the first thermal injury is bomb blast injury the bomb blast injury are results from explosion that can have the capability to cause multi system life threatening injuries in single or multiple victims the bomb blast waves causes damage to more extensively to air filled organs such as lungs and also causes eye brain etc next is the burn injury the burn is an injury to the skin or other organic tissues primarily caused by heat or due to radiation electricity or any chemicals the next is scald scald is damage to the skin or deeper tissues caused by hot liquids steam fires or chemical scalds occurs when burns are created by hot liquid like boiling water steam or oil heated for cooking these are generally first or second degree burns now we'll see about the forensic examination of an injury wound or injury examination is of prime importance in forensic and it is desirable to establish a wound examination system in order to evaluate and record the nature of wound more accurately and objectively in forensic and medical examination of an injury the total top to toe examination is carried out to observe and locate any marks injury or wound on body and to identify the cause of being injured next is what are the forensic application of an injury the forensic application of an injury it indicates the nature of weapon or any object due to which the injury is caused it gives an idea about the site of impact and direction of a force the age of injury can be determined therefore the time of crime can be calculated position of wound may indicate mode of action that is suicidal accidental or homicidal whether the injury is anti mortem or post mortem can be identified so guys this is the end of part 1 to continue with the next part please do like and share the video and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest update thank you